happening around the Ozarks, the Ozarks classic novel Shepherd of the Hills could soon play out on a Broadway stage. A musical version of the novel was written by a former professor at College of the Ozarks who quit his job teaching to pursue his Broadway dreams. Color 10's Crystal Blair sat down to talk with him about an upcoming opportunity he's getting in the Big Apple. Crystal. Well, Heather, after making the right connections, this former college professor now will get the chance to have his stage play read in front of a Tony Award winning producer. If I can live. The play is called Shepherd the Musical, adapted from Harold Bell Wright's Shepherd of the Hills novel and written by College of the Ozarks professor emeritus Hayden Head. But I started writing the play in 2008 after my father passed away. And it was a way for me to kind of come to grips with, with his loss. Head quit his job teaching at CFO one year ago to pursue his Broadway dreams. It's much better going into 160s reaching for the gold ring than it is reaching for the hammock. And we can't take that opportunity for granted. Fly or fall, sink or swim. That's what you got to do. The dream really started to come to fruition when Head met Stan Beard, who directed music at Silver Dollar City and arranged scores for major productions like Sesame Street Live and Disney on Ice. We really didn't even collaborate, technically. He took the script and lyrics and then he just wrote this beautiful score. Beard helped open the door for a stage reading in the Big Apple. His son Landon performed in Altar Boys on Broadway for Ken Davenport. And so Ken's agency is Davenport uh, Theatrical Enterprises. And um, so that's who we're working with. And Head explained why he believes Shepherd of the Hills is the perfect story to transform into a Broadway musical. Shepherd of the Hills is our story. Right. That is the story that has created the mythos of the Ozarks. That's why there is a tourist industry here. My feeling was is that these characters in the story just lent themselves to a musical treatment. Now, as you would imagine, Head is very excited about this opportunity. He told me that he's going to leave for New York the first part of next month, but he'll have his actual reading on October the 12th, and he promised to keep us posted. Reporting live in Branson, Crystal Blair, Ozarks First. This story will continue to follow. Crystal, thanks.